I'm Brittany Lewis with Forbes Breaking News. At a Senate Judiciary Committee hearing on Tuesday, Senators Tom Tillis and Dick Durbin argued about whether Democrats support defunding the police. In Senator Durbin's opening statement, he said that Democrats do not support defunding the police. Senator Tillis called out the Illinois Democrat and told him to do a quick Google search for Act Blue and defund the police. The North Carolina Republican condemned the defund the police movement and said, quote, it's time to stop this crap. This is killing people. Take a listen to their exchange here. Thanks, Senator Feinstein. Senator Tillis, I think they've notified us, is next on the Republican side. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and uh, thank you for holding this hearing. I also want to thank Senator Cornyn for the work that we, uh, we did together with Cinema and Murphy to really address some of the mental health and other challenges that we have to make sure that we're keeping weapons out of uh, hands of people that could harm themselves or other. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I came in to talk a little bit about legislation, but you said something in your opening comment that made me curious, and, and I take it face value. Every member of this committee, Democrat member, rejects the notion of defund the police. But I thought I'd just do a quick Google. Y'all, You all can do it, too. I just did it while I was here. I didn't have this printed until I looked up. Uh, I, I typed in Act Blue, all one word, and defund the police. And I got to this, this uh, subpage in the aggregation engine for progressive candidates. What does it say? Run, it's 31.12 run for justice. It's a direct contribution to Black Lives Matter. What's most fascinating about this is the first question that they answer under frequently asked questions. Why 3.12 miles? Because 3.12 translates into the alphabet for A-C-A-B, which equals all cops are bastards. This is on the Act Blue website that they've raised $250,000 on. The same website raised $513 million between April the 1st and June 30th of this year. This radical concept of defunding the police has gone from the radical left, a minority of the party, to something that the primary fundraising engine for liberal progressives is now touting. This is a cancer, and we have to understand that we do have to do work. It's why I took the political step to work on the community safety bill. We have to take steps on that side, but for us to be dismissive about this not being a problem, I ask you, or anybody else here in law enforcement, do you consider your colleagues bastards? They didn't say some of them. They didn't say most of them. They said all of them. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, and, and so we have to recognize this is a cancer. This has to stop. Somebody that knows Act Blue needs to know this is not helpful. And for the Democrats who genuinely believe that this is not a good strategy, they have to stand up and stand against this. I didn't plan that speech, so I'm sorry it came out that way, but this makes me mad when we say one thing and we see another thing. All cops are bastards. Are you kidding me? Can you imagine what a young, impressionable per person that lands on that website that may be on the bubble right now, what that could do? That could inspire them to do some of the very things that you all have talked about. Taunt a police officer, get them out there and try and kill them. That's happening. Black Lives Matter, by the way, if you punch out of this website, it goes directly to a Black Lives Matter, and I just saw this when I was Googling this morning uh, during this, this hearing. It's time for a change. And then they go in talking about how to defund the police. It is time for a change, and it's time to stop this crap. This is killing people. This is endangering police officers, and it's making the very communities that they suggest are at most at risk less safe. So... With that, I want to talk about a few pieces of legislation. Number one, I, I'm a co-sponsor of Senator Grassley's bill. I hope we can get more data. Number two, I wish the Fraternal Order of Police were here because this is one of their top priorities and they have data. We should make data-driven decisions the same way that Senator Corn and I made data-driven decisions on the community safety bill. I think we should look at the Protect and Serve Act. It's a bill that I've filed that makes it a federal crime to assault or murder a police officer, up the ante. They will know, and they will react, and law, law enforcement officers will be saved. 
I also think we should take a look at Back the Blue and Thin Blue Line and Defending Our Defenders Act. All bills that this committee could take up and move forward. All bills that will make progress. And I'm here to do everything I can to be driven by data, to take a look at community safety issues where we see too many guns in the hands of, of people who want to do harm. But we have to understand this is foundational. When I can go and get my friends and family to donate to the all cops are bastards run. And they also encourage running around police, or police stations, playing music. This needs to be a primary focus of anything we do that comes out of this committee. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you, Senator Tillerson. Since you referred to my opening statement, I want to make a comment first. Thank you. And Mr. Chair, if I may, I'd like to submit this for the record. Without objection. Thank you. Uh, I want to make a comment first. Thank you. I thanked Senator Cornyn earlier. I want to thank you as well for the bipartisan gun safety bill. I should have acknowledged you, and I'm sorry I did not. I know you played a key role in establishing that. Second, I have never been called to a meeting of Act Blue. I've never been asked to approve their agenda or their website. It is true that they raise money in the name of progressives and liberals, but I have nothing to do with their agenda whatsoever. I shouldn't be held any more responsible for what Act Blue does than ask our Republican members to be held responsible for the Proud Boys or the Oath Keepers or any other group that might associate themselves with conservatives. People should be judged on how they actually uh, vote and how they, what they believe. And that's all I ask personally, and that's what I... I'm going to offer to the members of the committee. Well, Mr. Chairman, just because I, under, and I, I don't begrudge Act Blue. They, they, they give to candidates, that, and, and I know they've given to several can, or members of the Senate who are friends of mine. I don't begrudge them for advancing a progressive worldview. But when they also use the same engine to have people log on, this is how this works. You log on to support the, the all cops are bastards run, and then... Act Blue knows that when they have future candidates who are also willing to sign onto that, they'll do a separate email saying, support candidate A because they work to defund the police. That's the way this process works, and that's why it's a cancer that's got to be taken out. You know, we could get into a conversation about January 6th, and I won't, but I want to hold members accountable. And every single one of them should be in jail. Thank you. I want to hold members accountable for how they vote and what they believe, but to attribute other organizations to us is unfair. 